Hi, I'm Elle McCann from Curious Themes Web Development Studio in Nashville, Tennessee. And in this video tutorial, we are going to go through setting up the BuzzFeed sales channel to connect to your Shopify store. So you can see over here on the left-hand menu, we have already done this process for Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram so that we can sell our products on these different platforms and actually have the users purchase it straight from there. So it kind of decreases that barrier there because they're not having to go to your site. If they like your product, they can purchase it instantly from those sales channels. So we will put links in the description below this video that goes through our video tutorials that we have on setting up all of these different sales channels. So you can follow along with those as well. But we're gonna go in now and set this up for Buzzfeed. So to do that, you'll click on this plus next to sales channels and it's gonna pop up a box here for us that has all of the available sales channels that we can use. So we're gonna scroll down here and do Buzzfeed. Again, you can see here it says, let Buzzfeed market your products to its highly engaged audience. So we'll hit add. And now we need to go in and approve that they will be able to connect to our store like this. So we'll just hit add sales channel. So what BuzzFeed is doing by you putting your products on their store, they're actually taking a commission because they're referring your products to their audience. So you have to go through and set this up in terms of approving these terms and conditions, make sure you read them, as well as the commission rates, and go in and connect everything as well as to um, accept the reoccurring charge for the affiliate revenue. So we will go in and we will come in and just go ahead and accept this. Now you can click on terms and conditions and you can read all of it here as well as the next section. So we'll hit the checkbox here and then now you go in and put in your commission rate. So you can check out the recommended commission rates that they have. Clicking on that link and you can see here are the current ones that they have based on their current affiliate partners. So this is for our brand Tomo Fit, which is a women's fitness apparel line. So we will be at this fashion level. So we'll be at 12%. So I'm gonna just come in here and put 12 and again, check that. And it says, once you click continue, you will be prompted to accept reoccurring charges for the affiliate revenue earned each billing cycle. So we will hit continue. And again, so this will come out um, each month in terms of how much your commission is to them. So this is all depending on how much of your product they sell. So the more of your product that they sell, the more the commission is. So you'll just need to make sure that your profit is more than what you're gonna be paying them in commission. So for this, it was 12%, so make sure that you're making more than 12% profit so that it's worth it for you. Um, the way I like to think about this is more in terms of free advertising in a sense. So if you were to run ads on Facebook, you would be paying money to run those ads. And so that would be kind of coming out of your profit already. So in this sense, you don't have to run ads. Um, Buzzfeed is kind of your ad. And because of that, they're taking that commission. So we'll go ahead and hit approve charge. So now you'll come in and you'll fill out this information about your shop. So we have the shop story, the category, so you would come in and pick that. So we would have fitness as well as clothing and the ages that you have. So ours would be ages 15 to 21, 22 to 35 and 35 to 60. Um, we are female. For tags, you would come in here and type tags that you think would be very searchable. So we'll put Let's see, I typed in women, so we'll get women's apparel and we'll do fitness, fitness clothing. So we're gonna add a few just to make sure that it's able to be found. So we'll do fitness apparel. Let's see. Okay, I found just a few more. So you would just continue with this and add in all of the ones that are applicable for you. And I 
think that was a good amount. Maybe we'll choose fitness fashion. There's a lot of different options. So let's go in and choose fitness clothing for weightlifters. And then we'll also do the fitness fashion. Okay. And now we're going to select the Buzzfeed post that most closely aligns with your shop. So you have here options. So we have clever products that'll save you money in the long run, wedding gifts people actually want to receive, the grown up guide to decorating your home, inexpensive things that will make you feel fancy, genius beauty products that, need, that you need to try ASAP, and simple ways to upgrade your look. So we're not really fitting with any of those since it is more fitness. So I'm just gonna hit other. And we need to come up here and add a shop story. So let's go to the home page and we're just gonna select something from our about us page. So I'm just going to select this and I'll change it a tiny bit once we're in there. So I have gone in and crafted our message here that you can see under shop story. And so you'll go in and just make sure that it's compelling and it tells enough about your brand as well so that it's approved. So we have that story in our categories, ages, gender, tags, and other. So I'm just gonna hit save. So it shows up here that they've been saved. So there is a little bit of an approval process. Um, right now it shows that zero products are visible on BuzzFeed. So to go in and change which ones are visible, we can come in here and go to products. And I'm going to select all products. So this has got it selected and click actions and do make products available. And we're gonna have it all checked because we want them to be available on all of these different networks, especially Buzzfeed, which is new. If you wanted to go in and make it unavailable, I'll show you how to do that as well. So we'll do make products available. So this is a bulk way to do it. If you wanted to go in and make a specific product not available, you could click into the product and go to manage for the sales channels. And you would just come in here and you would click off of the one that you don't want it to approve, appear on. So I'm just gonna hit cancel. And so now let's go into our Buzzfeed sales channel again on the left hand side. And we'll scroll down and now it's showing that we have seven products visible as well as our commission rate and the terms and conditions here. So you can see all of that as well and you can start appearing in BuzzFeed. So you'll start seeing orders come in um, once you start making them from BuzzFeed and you'll be able to see that they came from there as well um, and hopefully be able to start seeing your products listed on their site. So I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. Make sure to subscribe to get more video tutorials each week about Shopify and how to grow your online store.